Hi, I'm professional sports handicapper Ross Benjamin of rbwins.com. Time for another edition of my NFL free pick segment. A little special this week is I'm going to take a look at the Thursday night game for the first time all year on these free pick segments. I'll also have a Sunday NFL free pick. And if you followed me last week, we had the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks in New Orleans Saints game under 50 and a half on our free pick video. Easy winner there is uh, New Orleans wins the game easy 38 to three uh, while going under that total of 50 and a half. Uh, just a friendly reminder, you're viewing this video on the OSGA YouTube channel. And folks, uh, we would deeply appreciate it if you took a second, if you have not subscribed already, to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's no strings attached. And uh, while you subscribe, uh, you'll see a, a bell, an icon bell. Um, and all you need to do is hit that bell and you'll be, uh, that's a notification bell. And what that will enable you to do is any of my sports betting videos that go up on this channel, uh, be it my free pick segments in college football and the NFL, as well as uh, my new podcast, The Winner's Circle, I do with Chip Chirimbus. And uh, also you can catch uh, the Raymond Report with myself and Ron Raymond as well. So a lot of pertinent sports betting information, specifically football at this time of year. And the goal with those other podcasts is to make you a smarter sports better today than you were yesterday. Uh, all right, let's get to the game at hand. The Indianapolis Colts at the Tennessee Titans, uh, Thursday evening, 8.20 p.m. Eastern time from Nashville, Tennessee. Right now, the Tennessee Titans are a two-point favorite in this contest. Tennessee currently comes in with a 6-2 and two record, while Indianapolis is 5-3. and three. These two will clearly battle it out for the AFC South Division crown, and this is a key matchup, a, a must, not a must game for Indianapolis, but pretty close to it, because if you look at the standings right now, we're going into the second half. Uh, Indianapolis doesn't want to fall two games behind with seven games to play. Um, it would be an awful, it would be an uphill climb, not impossible, but uh, certainly doesn't put them in an advantageous position. So we have to consider that when handicapping this game as well. The Tennessee Titans are a team that relies heavily on their running game when it comes to their offense. Derrick Henry leads the way. They were shut down the running game last week, held to under 100 yards by the Chicago Bears, but still came away with a 24-17 win despite the fact that um, they had less than 300 yards of total offense. Uh, this is, uh, might be a problem going into this Indianapolis game because you're going to be facing a Colts defense here that right now is number one in total defense. That's yards allowed at 290 yards per game. And they're also number three against the run. As a matter of fact, their last three games against the run, the Colts are giving up. 68 yards per game on the ground and only 2.9 yards per rushing attempt. So again, it will be a challenge for Tennessee to run the ball against Indianapolis. Uh, and this game looks like it will be one in the trenches. Uh, it's going to be Tennessee's uh, offensive running game against the Colts rush defense. Uh, because if Tennessee has to become one dimensional, they don't have the type of, of passing game that can succeed without an effective running game. Once uh, Derrick Henry gets rolling, along with that Tennessee running game, it opens things up play action pass-wise for Ryan Tannehill, and they become a dangerous offense. Otherwise, as we saw last week against Chicago, when there's no running game or, or very little running game, <clears throat> they're uh, a little easier, I should say, to control, uh, even though they came away with a win. And the Tennessee defense, to me, folks, continues to be a problem. Um, I think not as much is really uh, directed in that you, know, you don't hear much on the national level about the Tennessee defensive, defensive issues, and I think have, has a lot to do with their 6-2 and two record. But a little bit concerning for me when I look at the fact that they're giving up 395 yards per game, which I believe is 27th in total defense in the NFL, and they're especially vulnerable against the pass. And Phillip Rivers uh, has shown throughout his career, 
when he faces porous pass defenses, he can excel. It's the defenses um, that, like Baltimore last week, have put a lot of pressure on him, blitz him a lot, uh, are the ones that gives him issues. And he tends to throw things up for grabs at times, which has been a trait of Phillip Rivers throughout his career. Now, also, the Tennessee Titans, their last three games, their opponents have averaged 35 minutes and 29 seconds of time of possession. And it's very difficult for a team um, to establish any kind of offensive rhythm if they're not on the field. And that's dominant. Uh, yet, you know, they, they've gone one and two in those games. Um, and they go back to the game against Cincinnati and the game against Pittsburgh. They were dominated in that department. And uh, both of those games resulted in a loss. Now, this is also a Tennessee defense I alluded to. They do give up 395 yards per game, but they bail themselves out a lot this year. Those numbers could be even worse if not for the fact they have forced 14 turnovers this year, and you can't keep depending on uh, turnovers uh, for ways to stop the opposing offenses. It's going to come. Sometimes they come in bunches, but there's going to have to be a time or two where you're going to have to try to shut down the opposing offense uh, without benefit of turnovers. So, again, that's a concern with me with that Tennessee defense. Indianapolis coming off a 24-10 home loss to the Baltimore Ravens last week, a game in which they outgained the Ravens uh, by a, over 100 yards. They were a victim of a fumble return for a touchdown last week, which certainly turned the tide in that game. And uh, give Baltimore credit. I mean, they played a great game on the road against a very good Indianapolis team. Now, uh, they were held to 10 points, like I said, 24-10 loss since 2018 under Frank Reich. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts are 3-0 and straight up in ATS following a game in which they scored 14 points or fewer. And they won those three contests by an average of 18.4 points per game. I like the more, the more desperate and urgent team here in Indianapolis. Like I said, if they wanted to win the division, they could ill afford to go two games down with seven games to play. Uh, not saying it's impossible to overcome, but it's uh, a little bit improbable. It's, so we'll see how that pans out. And I think the urgency and desperation clearly sides with the Indianapolis Colts in this situation. And by the way, folks, uh, really interesting Thursday night angle this year is uh, there's been five games this year where an away team playing on Thursday night was coming off a home loss. And they went 4-0-1 against the spread in those games, including 4-0 straight up in ATS in the last four in that situation. I'm taking the Indianapolis Colts here plus the two over the Tennessee Titans on Thursday, uh, November the 12th. I'm Ross Benjamin. Be sure to give us a, a like on our video here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until the next time, good luck and God bless.